I'm Cheryl. I'm Erica. And I'm Caleb. Now it's time for CHS Today. Freshmen, if you are wanting to help plan and represent activities for your class, such as helping plan and decorate the freshman homecoming float for the homecoming football game this year or in the future helping your prom, go to the freshman call-out meeting on Tuesday, August 24th during SRA in the choir room, Columbia 101. If you have any questions about being part of the freshman council, please see Mr. Vaughn in Jennings 113 or Ms. Wilson, Columbia 101. All ECHS students will meet during SRE on Friday in the Robert E. Wise Auditorium. This meeting will provide a lot of important information and it's important to attend. The student council meeting originally scheduled for Wednesday has been postponed until Thursday's SRE. If you are interested in buying a parking spot, senior council will be selling them during lunches. This will be available to anyone that drives. Seniors get first pick, then juniors follow. The parking spots will only be painted in the football parking lot. Painting days will be taking place on Friday the 20th and Saturday the 21st. Picture day is September 2nd and the makeup day will be October 14th. The auditorium crew is a group of student volunteers who help run events in the auditorium. Positions include running the curtain, managing backstage, moving equipment, running lights, and running sound. If you are interested in being part of the auditorium crew, please see Mr. Thompson in the band room. The Junior Council will meet in Ms. Dungan's room during SRE on Friday to discuss homecoming events and fundraising. Please let Ms. Dungan know if you can attend. There is a Spanish Club call-out meeting in Senora Richard's room JE230 next Tuesday, August 24th during SRE. Chromebook accident protection policy forms and money are due to the school on Friday, September 17th. The prices are the same as last year's and are detailed on the form itself. Thousands of residents remain evacuated after a destructive Northern California wildfire hit that nearly doubled in size overnight. Fed by wind and dry conditions, many structures have been destroyed and many others are threatened. The fire has burned at least one elementary school, one community church, and one post office, California fire officials said. Lunch for tomorrow is chicken nuggets with seasoned fries, a whole grain dinner roll, and a side of spiced peaches. Other options include barbecue rib sandwich, homemade veggie burger, and oven baked curly fries. Thanks, guys. It's sunny yeah. out today. Now, here's Akaya with your weather. Thanks, guys. Throughout the day, it's going to be sunny, and there's going to be a high of about in the low 80s. As we move into tomorrow, it's going to remain sunny, and the temperature is going to rise to the mid 80s. And moving into the rest of the week, the sun is going to stay out and the temperature is going to increase to about 90 degrees. That's all for the weather. Caleb, with the sports. Sports action for tonight is boys varsity tennis away at Batesville starting at 5.30. Girls JV and varsity soccer at home starting at 5.30. Sports action for tomorrow is varsity football away at Richmond starting at 7 o'clock. Now here is a girls soccer preview edited by Lucas Barron. I think the season will go pretty well because there's a lot of potential and we're working really hard and I think we're improving a lot. I think the season's going to go pretty well this year. We have a lot of the team that was on varsity last year and we have some coming up that are really good. So I think we're already kind of used to communicating with each other and we'll just see how it goes. I think this season is going to go well, if not even better than last year. I think the season is going to go pretty well. Yeah, we've lost a couple people, but we also got some foreign exchange students that aren't too bad, and um, I think we're going to thrive just as we did last year. Losing the three seniors is definitely going to be a hard job to fill, but I think the girls on our team, we can step up and try to fill their spots. Being the goalie is pretty important. I mean, I have the best um, view on the team, so I can communicate with everybody and tell them what they need to do. And Obviously, I stop balls, but there's, <laughs> it's more important than that. Practices have been going well. We've been working on spreading out and our passing drills. As a senior, um, I plan on leading this team. As First of all, I'm a captain this year, so I've been a lot more vocal on the field and as well as off the field, and I've just been leading better as a person. personal goal would be to just do the best I can for the team. My personal goal this year is to be more consistent with my kicks and be able to get it to who I want it to go to. A personal goal is to score tonight in our first game. personal goal for me um, that I have 
is just to be a better soccer player overall, to compete better this year and just be better in the season overall. A team goal is probably to win as many games as we can and win sectionals. To win sectionals ideally, but uh, to win conference. The goal for our team is to win sectionals. It's always a goal. Last year we almost did it, and I think this year we will. Now back to that's birthdays. Birthdays for today are Tucker Harrison and Cody Thomas. There are no birthdays for tomorrow. Happy birthday. It's game day. It's almost Friday. That's all for CJ's today.